Oh yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Appreciate that. Go your channel. Yo, what is up, fam? Happy Savage Sunday. Sorry I'm a little bit late. I actually am dropping a bonus video right after this live stream, and I was having a problem like getting it finished, like set it up and everything, but finally got it all set up. So after this live stream, I could drop a bonus video, which is cool. So let me see who is here already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Kayla, Priscilla, Lost Minion? Hey, Chrissy, Sydney, Beverly. What is good? Uh, Hillary, Shot, Alyssa. What's up, Poison Gamer? Kelsey York in the house. What's up, Rhonda Lee, Shay, Lori, Katrina, Veronica, Trehan. What's up, Chrissy, Toy, Vu. What's up, David, Jonathan, or Jen, the fam? Sorry. What's up, Jack, Courtney, Dark Moon, Eva, Shadow Master, Charlie, what's good, Patrick, Penelope, Patrick in the house, Sky in the eye, what's up, Katie, gosh, there's so many of you guys here, shout out to everyone that is here, so we have been getting a lot of good use, that's my daughter, Elizabeth, y'all haven't seen her in a while, we've been getting a lot of good use with this pool table, uh, I mean, for those of you guys that don't know, couple weeks ago we actually found this by the road somebody was throwing it away and uh, you know we've had a lot of fun with it as a matter of fact I played my first game versus my daughter today and she beat me I mean it's kind of funny how she holds the stick and I'm trying to tell her that's not how you hold the stick and then she hits three balls in in a row so you know what do I know but um yeah I accidentally uh, hit the eight ball in by accident I didn't see it and yeah she beat me so someone donated their daughter Oh, that's nice. Um, so yeah, she she got me. She got me good. Um, let me see here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Skyridge, what's up, homie? Good to see you, bro. Make sure you check out the homie Skyridge deals. B W Y A. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, you didn't even have to do that. But now I think highly of you and Chelsea and always will. Stay safe during all your explorers. I'll be praying for you both. Thank you so much, BWYA. Journeys and Journals. They actually have a YouTube channel as well. They're really awesome fans. So make sure you check out BWYA's channel. Make sure you check out Skyrich Deals. Skyrich, Skyrich, put your link to your um, to your uh, store because Skyrich has a really awesome like online store we can buy all kind of cool things, like whatever he's got deals on. He's got deals over there. So go check him out, and uh, he'll put his link in the description. So you can click on, I think it's like Skyrich Dash Deals. Skyrich Dash Deals, I think. I think that's what it is. Dot com, but I'm not sure. But he'll put it in there. Don't be shy, Skyrich. I want you to do it. So let's see who else is here. What's up, Kiki? What's up, Shutterbug? What's up, Cruz? Hey, Kimberly, Curtis, Annette, what's good? Yeah, Curtis, what's up, Madman26? Like you too, man, appreciate it. There it is. It's Skyrich, Skyrich with an S, Skyrich's, Skyrich's uh, dash deals.com. There you go. So I was always missing that S. So Skyrich's dash deals.com. What's up, Team Silver? Good to see you. Hey, Veronica says... Made an appointment so that they can run some tests on you. I had the same problem with my cats with allergies. Oh, man. Hope you're okay. What's up, Christina Salas in the house? Thanks, Beverly, for putting my direct dono link, as always. Great moderators I have for sure. What's up, Rhonda? What you think I'm going to play a game versus you? You just going to try to embarrass me in front of everybody? You want to see my pool skills? Uh-oh. Well, we know what happened last time. Yeah. Well, thanks, Lisa. Says your daughter is so pretty. Thanks Thank for the you. video, for sure. Hey, congratulations, Kimberly, on getting married. Yeah, that's awesome. I know Allie H just got married um, this last week, which is uh, super Betty cool. Said, um, hi, James. What's Matthew up, Betty? Awesome. Yeah, another Gatorland fam. That is awesome. What's up, Ola Blackman in the house? Missy Thomas, what's up, Missy? 
Jack Edwards says silver. Yeah. Matt's Entertainment. Yeah, go support our homie Sky Rich Deals. Check out his website. And uh, he's a good dude. So, yeah, no worry, Danny. Good to see you. Danny Green in that house. She is a nurse up in Ohio battling the coronavirus. It's crazy. What's up, Everyday Treasures? The fam, it was nice seeing you wear the hat we made for Chelsea. Yeah, I do wear that hat. I do. She wears it. I wear it, you know. True. What's up, Blackpool Paranormal? You know what's crazy, guys? I found this shirt after, like, several years. I used to wear this in my videos, and I lost it. I actually was going to send this to a fam, and then it went disappeared. And then all of a sudden, I found it. And I don't remember who I was going to send it to. But, yeah, I got my son Carter here and my daughter Elizabeth. We've been having a good time. They have school starting in, like, what, nine days, eight days? 31st so it's coming pretty soon but yeah I'm gonna drop a bonus video after this live stream if you guys didn't know after Savage Sunday I've been trying to drop a bonus video you know where I go back to an older video and then tell you guys about you know some stuff that you might not know about the video some behind the scenes stuff things like that this week's video I did on the XXX Tentacion video that I did, which has the most amount of views on my channel by far, at like 4.8 million views. And, you know, after doing some research and after like, you know, kind of zooming in to, you know, what we think was the ghost of XXS Tentacion, basically I break it down and uh, tell you guys kind of what I think. But, oh, I gotta put a poll up on that. That's the one thing I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. I, put it, I wanted to put a poll in there to see what you guys think after you see it. Because after I've looked at it, it kind of, like a lot of people thought it could have been like some fan art that kind of reflected into the front window. And at first I was like, nah, nah, I don't think so. I don't see how that could be possible. But zooming in, looking at it again, it kind of does look like it could be fan art. So I don't know. But basically I'm going to put a video out on that. So... That's the bonus video for this week. And uh, if you guys didn't see, I put up a new video yesterday where me and my boy Lou Rock went to this abandoned, it was like an abandoned mill, but there was also two other abandoned buildings that were brought to the property. One was like a church and the other one was like a slave quarters or something, a little small shack house or whatever. But at the end of it, it was super crazy, like somebody shot at us and I don't know if they were just scared somebody said in the comments they seen like a piece of wood go flying after that and they were like that is way too close I didn't catch that but that's pretty freaking scary if the bullet like hit close to us it was freaking nuts so if you guys didn't see that video it was the last video I put up so all right what you want me to break yeah, you do. why'd you put the ball so close that's a crooked what? give me this I need to help you out a little bit. Well, it's not crooked. It is definitely crooked. It's supposed to be. See that's line, that thing right there? It should be right. Yeah, yeah. Like. There. And it's not really set up properly, but that's okay. No, you're set Okay. No, it's okay. It's good you're enough. Set up. Here, you want me to. Uh, here, I'll break. Here, hold this for a second. Yeah. Okay, me and my little. Uh, 15 ounce pool stick that's very light, so it's kind of hard to break really good with this, but I, I'll give it, all right, you ready? Yeah. You got it, Elizabeth? Okay. I'm going to embarrass myself. Hey, not too bad, actually. I'll take it. That's actually one of my better breaks. Okay. All right, there you go, Missy. She going to take a shot now. Title of this video, The Haunted doll is still in our attic and yes it is actually still in our attic and uh we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that here in just a little bit i have not been up there for quite a while so made some dinner i made um my famous bolognese sauce i actually put the rest of it um like away but yeah it's like super super good Did and uh hey you guys want a bite Mm. If you guys ever want to make it, I highly recommend this. Basically what you do 
is you take, you chop up carrots, celery, and onions. I would say about maybe a cup to a cup and a half of each. So carrots, celery, onions, cut it up, chop it up really good. Put it in a, uh, you know, a pot with like, you know, some olive oil or butter or whatever. And, you know, let it cook for a little bit. Then you take about two pounds of meat and you put it in there. Let it cook really good. After that, you get two cans of like, um, you know, like the whole peeled tomatoes in a can. Sometimes they have like chopped up tomatoes in a can. But you get two cans of that, like big cans of it. And you then add that into it. And then you put it on low and let it sit there and simmer for like three or four hours. And oh, so good. Hi, pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. Everybody always wants to know where you're doing, where you at. There she is. You want to say hi? Say hi. Nee, nee, nee. Look at that little tongue. Look at that little tongue. You just want to lick, don't you? I know it. Look at that. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the super chat. James, I have missed you and Chelsea. Miss you too, Danny. So sorry I've been away. Some people close to me caught COVID. And work has been crazy. We are all in this together. It's not over though. Love you. Hey, Danny, stay safe. Please stay safe. I'm sorry to hear about your coworkers, but stay safe out there for sure. I mean, it ain't no joke. Um, Patricia, no way. Thank you for the $20 direct donation. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. I did a live stream the other day and I got... Well, some people sent some crazy super chats, which was super nice of them. But I also had some people send me direct donations, and it really came in handy because I need to get more groceries because these kids eat a lot of food. So I went to the grocery store yesterday, got it. So that was really, really helpful. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. But uh, what? Yeah. Someone said, what? can you give tips on ghost hunting? What is it? Tips on ghost hunting? Yeah, five more. Tips on ghost hunting. Hmm. Well, number one thing is you want to be safe no matter where you go. Um, I would say the number one thing would be the location you go to. You know, there's people out there that, well, I won't even say that. But for me, you know, I have to travel quite a bit. You know, it's not like I can just go right around the corner all the time to film a video. You know, you really have to do a lot of research into places that are truly haunted. And, uh, you know, you guys have seen where I, you know, haven't uploaded many videos for weeks or even a month on end because I haven't been able to travel. So I would definitely say look into a good place that has a lot of history to it. Um, and that would probably be the number one thing. You know, the ghost equipment and stuff, you know, I never start out using too much ghost equipment. I do like the spirit box, um, but... I wouldn't worry about getting into the spirit box kind of stuff right away. I mean, it's very tricky and it's kind of scary because, you know, you could have a demon pretending to trick you into thinking one thing when it's not true. So it's very hard to decipher sometimes, even for me. Um, but I'd say, um, I'm trying to think what those EMF meters are pretty cool that light up. Those are pretty good. But yeah, mostly in the areas you go to, the places you visit is really, um, I think, one of the most important things of it. So, for sure. Matter of fact, I might grab this spirit box and go up by the uh, doll here. What happened to Lou? Lou's good. Lou's good. We just ran like crazy when, uh, <laughs> when that happened. So, we were out. Uh, if so, just notice you in the chat. Yeah, she's in the chat. She is a moderator too. I'm a spiritual medium. No way, Jack. That's crazy. James got news. I want you to know tomorrow headed to Utah to visit family. Will be MIA for the next two or three weeks. Okay, Nolanator, you be safe, bro. People's asking where Chelsea's at. I mean, I think Lou's okay, unless there's something I don't know. Chelsea is editing her video. She's actually filming for her video. 
Um, she had to do like an outro or something for it. Um, oh, we, oh, very good, BWI. Thank you. Yes, another good thing is to always pray before and after doing a lot, any type of ghost hunting stuff. I do agree 1,000% with that. I should have said that as number one. Thank you, BWIA. That was uh, very good advice. Mm, yeah, it was a pretty intense video, Michaela. Good to see you, Michaela. Got to meet Michaela when we were up north. Yeah, Patty and... Um, uh, when we when Lou and I went across the street because we were actually filming at this jail um, Which is super haunted very crazy and Lou and I went across the street to go film a video and the girls went to film like their own video um, It was like Patty Raptor Adventures and Chelsea and um, Lou's girl Lucid So they filmed the video and then they like the reason we cut it well It wasn't really cut short, but we were inside the church doing a spirit box and I got a phone call from Chelsea. They all started freaking out because like they thought somebody broke into the jail. Like it was that haunted that they actually thought a person was in there. So she called me to tell me that and asked if we could come back. I guess the spirit box also said something about like um, something about a cemetery and something scary about it. So she was worried that Lou and I were over by a cemetery and of course we weren't. Uh, so we decided to come back and then my video that I'm going to be putting out next, which is the video where we actually did the whole haunted explore inside the jail. It starts out with Lou and I going to check everything out to make sure that, you know, no, nobody was in there. And then something really crazy happened to Lou where honestly, I think he got possessed or was in some type of trance or something. And you'll see why in my video. It actually happened twice in one video, so it was pretty scary stuff. Yeah, someone said your camera or something was getting blurry or fuzzy. Um, man, it it could be like, I wish you guys could see like how bad my camera is right now or my phone is, cause the screen's going out on it. Um, I think I could show you in the mirror, but it's so hard to like see anything. Let's see. And turn this around. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Yeah, not not too good. So, what you doing, boy? You watching my live stream? No. Oh, well, forget you then. Are we gonna play some pool later? Again? Mm-hmm. Sitting there playing video games over there. Oh, video gamer. Oh, well, it's my turn? Okay. All right, and then I gotta go check out the doll really quick. So, okay, we're. Wait, did anybody get a ball in yet or no? No. Oh, cool. Well, then, let me just stick this right in the hole. Cool. There you go. You guys got a special angle. Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot, to, I forgot the phone was there and it went in anyways. Yeah, what a shot that was. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going. Ready? Oh, all right, I finally missed. I forgot the phone. I left the phone like in the pocket. <laughs> Y'all just seen the ball roll right in, I guess. Yeah, Chelsea, she filming. She'll probably come in here in a little bit. Yeah, Tammy, I've never been a huge pool player or anything, but I've had a lot of fun with the kids playing pool this last week. Like for sure, it's been a lot of fun. So let me see if I could go find my spirit box. Because I think it would be cool if we brought that up there. So. Uh-oh. What did I do? There we go. What's up, Amy O'Lear? Good to see ya. I think I have it in my backpack. If I'm not mistaken. We'll find out. Mm, let me feel around for it. 
My camera, a light, which I'll probably need. Well, do you make it or not? Yeah, I made uh, I made three balls in. Oh, which ones? Uh, I'm solid, so your stripes. Okay, that went on. Where is the spirit box? Okay, here's the other light. Let's see if that one works. Yep. Okay, I got my light. I don't think it's in here. Hmm. Let's see. It's not in there. Let me go ask Chelsea where it's at. Oh, you made one? Yeah. Nice. I heard it. I heard it go down. Um, she said she was gonna film right here. I don't know she is. You out here, babe? Egg? Nope. Guess not. Okay. I have not seen the spirit box in a while either. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Do you know where the spirit box is? Yeah, but also Lou did pass out yesterday while filming with Patty. Oh, really? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, I just looked it up and I messaged Lucy. Oh, you didn't know either? Hello, no, no. I didn't know anything. Yeah, let me know what she says. Also, hey, Tina. He passed out. He passed out. Where were they at? I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, if you can find me the spirit box. Okay, so I guess uh, I didn't know that. I thought it was No one said one. anything to me about that, so i will uh, have to find out i guess yeah, chelsea uh message lucy here you go so hopefully she is hopefully he's okay all right wait no way what you missed yeah i missed oh man yeah i missed you know i always start out good and then it just starts falling apart No, that was the speaker. It said low battery. Oh. That was. That was kind of scary though, because I was like, "Whose voice is that?" That was pretty weird. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Jenny. Appreciate that. Much love from Seattle. Much love right back to you. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Isn't pumpkin so cute? Amber Dollface says, okay, fam, please send me good vibes for my hospital pre-surgery tomorrow. Oh, I need to plug this in. Where's the charger? Oh, definitely praying for you, Amber. Make sure you keep Amber in your prayers, guys. Um, I guess she said something about a pre-surgery tomorrow. And where's the box at? <laughs> the heck? No, I got one right here. Weird. Okay. Plug this in. I guess I need to charge this for a couple minutes before I go in the attic anyways. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna get it. Uh, okay. Um just go ahead, you go. I don't even know if it's turn it is, so well, I have three percent. I'm glad I plugged that in really quick. Follow James on Twitter. Yeah. Thank you, BWIA. Put in my Twitter link, twitter.com slash James the fam. True that. Thanks, Tammy. She said, I have a beautiful daughter. Thank you. Now, James, you hit the nine ball <laughs> instead of the white ball. Oh, I did? <laughs> Dude, I, man. See, Wait, did you get one of mine in? Uh, well, hey, let's pretend that didn't happen, okay? Oh, no, you did hit one of mine in. So thanks for the point. Mm-hmm. Need the chalk, yo, stick. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, sometimes uh, because I don't see too good, it's hard for me to see the balls. So it's probably not the first or last time that I uh, will hit the wrong ball. What did you, what'd you do with that chalk? I didn't do anything. It's right here. Yeah. Right here. You blind guy. Okay. Well, where's the cue ball at? White ball right there. Okay. With the eight ball? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, uh, Dad, you're hitting the right. purple. I'm just trying to line up my shot. Ah. 
Man, oh. Okay. There you go. You have to shoot it anywhere behind the uh, the double line there, or the uh, like between that line behind there. So you can move it wherever you want. Oh, okay. Over the. Uh, <laughs> you found it. Don't get punkin all riled up, babe. Oh, Leandra said Lou is on Patty's D Live right now. Thanks. Okay, you heard me? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got one. Okay, have fun, babe. Let her finish her video. Thanks. There you go. Oh, it is. Um, I have three in. No, you're doing good. I ain't gonna let you in this time, though. That is not gonna happen. Okay. Alright, I know exactly what I'm going for. Ready for this shot? Here you go. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Hmm. Somebody said, when are you going to put a ring on that, James? Um, when I have enough money. <laughs> when you have enough money. Yeah. Eventually, one day. Um, I don't have one ball left. Um, no, yeah, wait. Hmm. This one, this one, okay. Yeah, you so, have two. And I have one, two. Well, what three. am I supposed to do here? Uh, you got to make it. Without hitting the black ball? Uh-huh. All right, here comes a little combo right here. You oh, missed. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> there you go. You up. It said the moderator of the person doing the video had blocked me, which wouldn't be James. I didn't say anything bad. No, you shouldn't have been blocked. No, if you can um, type in the chat, then you're definitely not blocked. <coughs> Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I didn't know where to shoot. Yeah. What is the score? The score is, uh, well, uh, how many do you have? Two, three. Huh? So, four. three. She's got four left. I and got here. Got, hold this. And she, you got three, too. I got three now? Oh, no, no, the black ball is the last ball you can Oh, that's every. Here, hold this. That black, the eight ball is the last one any one of us hits. Hmm. Hmm. Whale? Um, that's eaten, right? Wait. Okay. Hmm. Missed. I'm not the best player. Me Never claimed to be. <laughs> but it's fun though, right? Yep. No, I never really. Ah, uh, love you too, Haley. Thanks for being here. Sometimes people get timed out by accident. That is very true. You know, this is actually Elizabeth's only second time ever playing pool. Like, the, the game that she beat me was... Here. The game that she beat me was her first game, actually. So, that was pretty embarrassing that I lost to someone that's never played before. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, exactly. That was my Why shot. Why do you before. put me in a bad spot? Why do you put me in a bad spot? Maybe. Got one in. No, you didn't. I got the cue ball in. I know you did. <laughs> okay, my phone is at 1%. Wait, what? Wait, why? Sometimes the Wait, why is my phone off. dying? No. Okay, something right here. And so this charging. Um. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. One second, let me put this in here. I need to get a different box, because this box obviously is not... Here, I got one. You got one? Yeah, you did. I got a white ball in. Hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. So, yeah, I want to take you guys into the attic. I didn't know my phone was so dead. I'm doing good, Kimberly. How are you? Oh, my. I know. Butt crack? No, Veronica. There's no way you caught that. I'm pull my pants up. Uh, heck no. Nah. Okay. 
<laughs> you do. They got the pool table for free in the trash. Yes, we did. How cool is that, Shutterbug? You should have seen me and Chelsea walking down the street with it, trying to carry it. It was yeah, funny. Oh, no, Beverly. What did you do to your toe? This looks like the exact same box. Well, this is mine. Oh, I don't think this box. Oh, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. That was close. Okay. Did so you go? Yes, I went. Oh, did you get it? She's a Smart. Oops. She's a pool shark. Yes, she is. Oh, Tyler said, "Yeah, I got shot it out by Elizabeth. That made my night." Yes. My son is playing video games, Tammy. He is uh right in the middle of uh, an intense game of Fortnite probably. Yeah. Me and Mhm. Pool tables are heavy. Huh. Oh, nice. Wow. They are heavy, actually. Very heavy. Um, I, Believe it or not, this pool table is not as... I mean, it's heavy, but it's not, like, too heavy. Okay, there you go. Like, it was hard. Cue ball in a corner pocket. Yeah. I give you a good lineup. What? I give you a good lineup. You give me a good lineup. By accident. Oh, thanks a lot, Elizabeth. Yeah. Appreciate that. Where's my good lineup at? The blue ball. What, Where's this? It? No, 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 no. That's a black ball. Oh. Well, no, I mean, unless you want to get the black ball. That's a very long shot, so I don't say this is an easy one. Damn. You said what? Hey. Alright, there's one oh, there. Oh, I just, I keep forgetting my phone's in that pocket. Yeah. I'm going to crack the screen even more. Here, white ball is there? Right. That one's yours. Oh, that one's mine too? Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, okay. okay. All right, here you go. Oh, yeah. I got a stuff. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot I put this one in here again. Okay, that must be a good angle though for the camera. Oh, nice, Janice. Kai's a birthday coming up. Nah, DJ, I ain't a Fortnite player. I can't see good enough to play, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, you played a bunch of games before. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna beat that. I guess I can try to combo off this. It's a long shot, though. Yeah. Yep, you missed. Okay, dokie. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, they're gonna have school start pretty soon. It's pretty sad. I don't want to do online school. You don't want what? I don't want to do online school. You don't want to do online school. You rather go to school? Yeah. Yeah, both my kids. Neither one of them want to do the online classes. Oh, nice shot. Neither man. She she might beat me. Neither one of the kids like doing these online classes. Like, I would think, hey, you get the... What the... They only give you a bunch more work because they don't really need to do anything. Is that what it is? Yeah, they don't do much, but all they do is send the work and then that's it. Because they don't need to make copies or anything. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Did this fall in the hole, right? Yeah, mine did. This one's mine, right? Yeah. Well, wait, that did, the white ball didn't fall in the hole. I said... Oh. One of the shots I made did. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> I thought I went in. Oh, it's over. If you make the black ball in. Oh, I'm going to make the black ball in. Don't you worry about that. This is a uh, game, set, and match. Hey, uh, hey, you no, did pretty no, good, no. though. I, I got to admit, you only had two balls left. That's pretty good. Here, we will redo it. 3% battery. Oh, no. Okay, well, <sighs> School's tomorrow there, Judy? That's crazy. What are you going into, 11th grade, Elizabeth? Um, you don't know what grade you're going no, into? I'm going into 11th. I'm supposed to be in 12th. Kids are afraid. It's crazy. They all would rather go back to class, to be honest with you. It's are you afraid of going back to class with no. the corona and stuff? No, I'm only Carter and Julia. Or mainly Julia. Oh, well, Julia graduated, so she don't have to no, worry about I'm it. No, I'm in college. 
Binky eight ball, yeah. Doing good, Tammy. How are you doing? Oh, nice, Tyler. Tyler's gonna be a senior this year. That's awesome. Dang, I really wanted to. Um, <laughs> wait, what'd you say? James hit the nine ball again. Wait, I did. I hit the nine ball into the Elizabeth. You actually won that game. Uh, if I have to go back and review that again, but if I actually hit the nine ball into the eight ball, then you actually won. Oh, man. See, that's why I like to play with Carter. Carter would be like, Dad, you know you're about to hit the wrong ball. Oh, thanks. Well, I already <laughs> told you plenty of times. I know. No, I know. Carter always says that to me, though. A lot of teachers are afraid. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, one of our counselors died. Wow, there was an earthquake where you're at? Where is that at, Tarina? Oh, nice. Justin has a birthday on Tuesday. Celebrated mom's birthday on Friday, said Tammy. Dope, dope. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no, you won. The weather's been very rainy. It's stormed today. Pretty bad. Hey, you want to set this up since I didn't set it up right last time? Doing good. That's good, Tammy. I did hit the nine ball. Dark Garnet. Jen. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that Velvet Tears. Definitely will pray for you lost her mom about a month ago. That's so sad. That is not ever good. A city called Monroe, Michigan. Yeah. Really? Okay, because Chelsea has a lot of family in uh, Michigan actually. Hillary's birthday's on Friday. Dope. Finally got the chat. Nice Marie. Here you wanna hold this? Yeah. Here the white ball's right there. You can move that. Okay. Alright, from now on I need you to tell me what I'm hitting is wrong or wrong. Oh, you got none in. Mm. Oh, no, I'll take that back. You got the striped one in again. Oh, I did? Yeah. Wait, I got the... And you can put the white ball anywhere. Well, that's a cue ball? No, you gotta put it over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, put it past the line. Here. No, you made No, one. I lose my turn because I scratched. Oh, you did? Yeah, so you can get it. You, you can still be striped or solids. So I'm at 3%. I guess my phone's not going to charge, guys. Whoops. So maybe what I'll do is do a live stream tomorrow. Um, I mean, you could keep it until it dies. Yeah. I know, I know, but I'm saying I'm not, I don't think it's going to charge enough to go into the attic. Can you send some rain to California? For sure, Mark. You guys need some rain very desperately over there. Very desperately with all the fires and stuff. I didn't know. Birthday is close to September. Everyone's got a birthday coming up. Happy early birthday tomorrow. We're bracing for Hurricane Marco here in San Antonio. Oh, what's up, Eddie and Jen? Prayers go out to everybody that is in the line of the hurricane, which is definitely crazy. I definitely know a lot about hurricanes and it's crazy because this year has been extremely active already and it's going to be very active for the rest of hurricane season. So being in South Florida, I know we still are going to be dealing with some pretty severe, you know, weather coming up soon, but I do know that there is the uh, hurricane Marco and isn't there like another like tropical storm or hurricane that may hit around the same time? Like that's crazy like two storms combining that's never happened if you guys like there's never been two hurricanes or two tropical storms or tropical storm and a hurricane that have collided together it's never happened and i haven't paid attention in the last couple of days but a few days ago they were saying that it was a very good possibility that that might actually happen and no one really knows what would happen like would it make this huge, like, would it combine to make a huge, you know, storm? Or, like, no one really knows. Like, people will say they think they might know, but no one really knows because it's never happened. So that could be, that could be super, super crazy. So definitely praying for you guys for sure. Stay safe out there. Yeah, fan mail, Kate. We're going to go grab the fan mail tomorrow. So maybe what I'll do is we'll grab the fan mail and, um... We'll open the fan mail and then do um, go up to the attic tomorrow. I think that would be a great idea. Um, Apple Valley and the fires are close by. Be careful, Veronica. That's crazy. Kimberly's got a birthday in nine days. Someone wants you to do the ninja. 
ninja dance? No, they want you to do the ninja dance. No, they said you too. Chelsea does the ninja dance. James can't do the ninja dance. Only a ninja can do the ninja dance. No, Chelsea could do the ninja dance. <laughs> Everybody in the U.S. Uh, be celebrating my birthday this year on Thanksgiving. Nice, Cheryl. Come to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is awesome, Tyler. We've actually been there, or I've been there. This is James Rules of April. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Okay. Here you go. How it is? Um, did you hit anything in? Um, no. Okay. I missed. Where is the cue ball? Okay. The light ball is right there. I see. I think what I'm going to do is uh, hit this so they all move. Go, 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 go! No! Stop. Cheat. Here. I'll trade you. I'll stick for the phone. Okay. Laura is the second storm. Okay, cool. So that's the second one. And I, I guess that's still a tropical depression or a tropical storm at this time. Dang, I was trying to hit that one. No luck, Elizabeth? Ah, doll. Dude, is it hot in here or is it just me? My birthday, Jack, is on March 20th, which is the first day of spring every single year. So, let's sit here. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to get these balls out of the way. You may want to move that. There you go. Okay. Surprise, Carter hasn't come out. He must be into a, a good I Fortnite battle. Hit the line again. No, not again. I Before. You're behind. Mm. Oh, bad. thanks, Jack. That's nice of you. I'm doing good, Dawn. Good to see you. How are you? I've had the pleasure of meeting Dawn about two, three, three or four times, actually. Oh, nice. Nice. Evan turned 20 yesterday. There you go. Yeah, one. Tyler, that would be awesome if we make it out there. For sure. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay, Lindsay. That's crazy. Going to drop a classic ba 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 banger. Yeah, Chelsea's editing right now. She wants to get a video out tonight, so... She's trying to get it out by midnight. See how that goes. Although I told her like, uh, Sunday night is not usually the best night to put out a video, but I told her that last time her video did really well. So what do I know? <laughs> um, and again, I'm gonna be dropping a video right after this live stream in just a few minutes. You know, a lot of you guys have already seen the XXX Tentacion video, um, but it's pretty interesting because when I zoom in, it looks, you'll have to see for yourself. I Because I really want you guys to take a poll and uh, let me know what you guys think. So when I end this live stream, I'm gonna drop that video and then I have to add the poll. So, um, and it'll probably be five minutes after I drop the video, I add the poll in there. So you may have to, you know, go back and do it again. Did someone say it on? Oh no, Kimberly, I hope the boys are okay. Um, I'm going to be meeting with Omar in the next couple of weeks in Orlando, so definitely that will be coming up soon. Uh, Missouri. I don't think we went on Missouri's trip yet, so hopefully this year sometimes, as long as, you know, we'll see what happens with the whole coronavirus thing in, in a couple of months. What I've been hearing is, um, what I've been hearing, take it with a grain of salt is that there is gonna be a second wave coming of not just corona, but another deadly virus that's supposed to be unleashed onto the people of the world. And um, if that happens, just say that there's been whistleblowers calling that for a month or two months now that that's gonna happen. And if it does happen, it's really gonna make me question a lot of things because they called it before it was a thing. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just, you know, conspiracy theory stuff. But I like to look at all sides and, um, you know, 
try to figure out what, what's the truth, what's not the truth, instead of just listening to other people or listening to the news. So let's just hope, let's just hope that it's baloney. Yeah, you heard that too, Beverly? Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, what's the virus? They said it's some type of swine flu. Um, I heard some type of swine flu. Um, I think that's what it was. That's supposed to be like a lot worse. Oh, is this another virus but that's in what's there? A, I hope not. I sure hope not. But it's crazy because there's a lot of people that have come out on interviews and said things like, well, just wait till the next thing hits. Wait till the next round. And then people really start to understand the true seriousness of this. And then people were saying that months ago, like Bill Gates and, and, and I think, I don't even remember all the people, but a bunch of people saying it made me say, like, how do they know that? How do they know there's something else that's supposed to be coming out that's going to be way worse than what we've already experienced? It makes you wonder. So... You know, that's why I like to do a lot of research, but then you go down that rabbit hole and then you get even more confused because you don't know what to believe. So pretty scary stuff for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely scary. So yeah, I'm only at 5%. That stinks. Yeah, I think we're all sick of Corona shot. I think we all are. For sure. True that, chills. What's up, man? James, it would be amazing to go on and explore with you in Pittsburgh. Heck yeah, I like Pittsburgh. There was a, an abandoned uh, jail that we went to out there, which is really cool. Maybe because it's not a pandemic as much as a plandemic. Yeah, that's kind of what I think too. But like, it's definitely a real thing, that's for sure. But how did it start is the uh, big question. Created by Satan. At the end of the day, that's pretty much what it is, paranormal. I agree with that. You know what's funny? Like, I, I, it's, it's weird because they want to take God away from everything, it seems like. I think there was um, something about the, uh, the, the Democratic uh, National Convention that they just held last week. And I, haven't, I didn't hear this for myself. I just seen uh, somebody tweet about it. But they said that they took the words um, God out of the Pledge of Allegiance. So they say, they say it basically, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. But what happened to one nation under God? You know, but they still say that. Yeah, but apparently it was taken out um, of uh, something which was, uh -huh. if true, which I don't know if it was true or not. I'm just... That's what I heard. I don't even know what I am. My stripes are solids. I don't even know. What did you not get? I don't know. I'm just going for, for whatever. I'm just... Uh, I mean... What is that? Stripes? What is... Uh, yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Well, I don't even hit the right balls, you know. You got the light on. But I will tell you one thing. I will always stand with God. I don't care what they do to try to take it out of schools, which they've been doing. They've been trying to take it out for a long time. I mean, look how all the uh, churches are closed, you know? It's like you can go to a liquor store, but you can't go to church. You can go to, um, you know, you can go and uh, protest, but you can't go to church. You know, it's pretty crazy how a lot of things are geared to, it seems like, like Christianity in general is under attack and I've always been the person that I'm not so much religious as, as I am where I believe in God you know it's not so much about being you know one type of you know religious form or another I believe if you believe in God you believe in God it doesn't matter you know what religion you are at least that's what I think but it seems like they definitely try to take a lot of that out and if you've ever read you know any of the book of revelations in the bible it actually talks about a lot of things that are happening right now, about them trying to, you know, where, you know, Satan, you know, arises and takes over. And, uh, you know, God is, uh, a lot of people talk against it and, and try to dismiss it. 
and it's pretty crazy. Like if you ever look into natural law, look into like look up what natural law is, and that's what I believe a lot of these people are into. It's you know some people say like they're devil worshippers or something like that, but at the end of the day, they believe in natural law, which is pretty much like they believe they're gods, and um, it's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up stuff, and it's it's just it's so rampant, and it's just it's so much and so everywhere that it's crazy, and it, and they try to hide it, but if you really notice and they really see it, yeah, Jan, it's good versus evil for sure. Yeah, where do you live, Marie? You're getting tired of stuck at home. That's crazy. I, I seen some guy's video today. He was talking about about. Something about aerosol, about them releasing aerosol into um, into the air, and they said that Florida was. It was like already noted that they were trying to do this in Florida because they said people in Florida aren't taking the virus as serious as a lot of other states. So they want to show that you know um, that's a bad thing, and they're supposedly releasing stuff into the air. I don't know if any of that stuff is true, you know, but I think it's always good to hear from every side. And that's what I try to do is listen to what everybody has to say and form my own judgment, which is what I always suggest for you guys is to not listen to anybody out there, but to listen only to yourself. You know, it's good to hear all sides, um, but it's, it's best that you come up with, you know, your own, you know, reasoning or result of what's actually happening with things you know because there's too many people out there that have an opinion on things and there's too much um what do you call it miss you know um wrong information basically it's funny because i was talking to youtube the other day and i actually have a youtube representative that i've been working with for over the last year every month we have a uh, a zoom conference call and it's funny because we were talking about it the other day and I was like, you know, why is it that, you know, like there was a bunch of videos of doctors that, that doctors in the United States that came out and said, hey, you know, there is a cure. They have this hydroxychloroquine or whatever you call it. And it, it saves people from Corona. But then all the videos were taken down because the WHO, the World Health Organization said that it's not true and it, it, it apparently youtube and Goog, you know google youtube twitter facebook all those only go by the who so it doesn't matter what anyone else says they go strictly with the who so she was basically telling me that that's what they listen to and if it doesn't coincide with what the who says then it's misinformation and it's taken down off the platform so that's pretty scary if you think about it, because if there was people involved in some type of new world order thing, which I believe no matter what, we're definitely going into a new world for sure, no matter what happens. Um, it's scary because how do you, you know, take their word for it? I don't know. <laughs> so I really don't know. It's so confusing. That's for sure. Um, here, I'll finish in a minute, but I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I'm going to put this video up. So if you're here in the live stream right now, I want you to comment on the video. I want you to go over to the video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to drop it right now while I'm talking to you guys. I want you to go over the video and I want you to leave a positive comment and I will heart your comment. I don't care what it is. Could just be hashtag fam love. You know, hashtag positivity. It could be any kind of words of encouragement for anybody to read. But uh, anything positive, and I will leave a heart next to it. Let's see here. Where is it? So, yeah, you can just put hashtag fam love or anything else that you want. Let me drop it really quick. Then you guys can go over to do that. Yeah, it's called, Was This XXX Tentacion's Ghost Caught on Camera? And um, I'm not sure if it really was or not. 
So I'm curious to what you guys think, because at the end of the day, that's really what matters is what you guys think. So, all right, public and save. Okay, now let's see if you guys get the notification. All right. So it should be up now. And let's see how long it takes to get a notification. Are you following me? Do you have my notifications on, Elizabeth? Huh? Do you yeah. have my, you do? Did you get a notification yet? Oh, for, for the TV. For my video? Yeah. Let me know. Curious. And now if you're not getting notifications for the videos, I would suggest to unsubscribe from my channel and then resubscribe and make sure when it puts for the notifications, put all. And that way you never miss anything. Um, but yeah, go over to that video right now, guys. Even if you don't want to watch it, you know, because you already watched it, maybe you can go over and leave a like to support me. But go over there and just put something positive in the comments, guys, even if it's hashtag fam love, positivity, anything. I mean, there's so much negativity in this world right now. Every day I get onto YouTube and I go onto Twitter, it's just negative things nonstop, man. And it gets so depressing. And that's something that I think we need to try to change. You know, we definitely need to bring positivity back. As I told you guys before, um, I am working on um, what I had talked about on my last live stream, where I want to start working with you guys directly on a new campaign of positivity, happiness, um, you know, kind of like, um, you know, go, doing good deeds out there, but I want to have you guys involved in it because it's something that is all about us, not just about me. And I think that would be super cool. So um, matter of fact, I have a pinned tweet on Twitter uh, where I ask people for ideas um, for it. So if you have any kind of ideas for what we should do, I definitely would like to hear from you. And then hopefully in the next week, you know, I'd say the next week or so, I want to announce you know, all the details of what we're going to do because I definitely want to bring positivity back in such a crappy year this year of 2020. So thank you guys for being here. I love you guys. It's another Savage Sunday in the books. If you guys didn't see the video I dropped yesterday, make sure you guys check it out where we got shot at. It was super crazy. But go over to that video right now, guys. The XXX Tentacion video I just dropped. Leave a positive comment. And I will spend the next 30 minutes hearting every single one of them. And I will even respond to a lot of the comments as well. So thank you guys so from <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace guys. Bye. Bye. Love you all. Peace.